0.039 Kilmarnock striker Chris Boyd has condemned idiot supporters who throw objects onto the pitch Kilmarnock striker Chris Boyd has condemned idiot supporters who throw objects onto the pitch Kilmarnock striker Chris Boyd has called on Scotland's football authorities to take urgent action against the idiots who throw objects onto the pitch. The 35-year-old was struck by a coin during Kilmarnock's 1-0 defeat to Celtic on Sunday, the latest of a number of similar high-profile incidents involving crowd trouble in the Scottish Premiership. Former Hibernian boss Neil Lennon was also struck by a coin earlier this season. Ranger striker Alfredo Morelos had missiles thrown at him at St. Mirren, while an assistant referee required stitches after receiving a cuthead when an object was thrown at him at a match between Livingston and Rangers. 043 Boyd appeared to be hit by a coin while warming up on Sunday Boyd appeared to be hit by a coin while warming up on Sunday the idiots that are in the stand need to get a grip Boyd told Sky Sports News I will take the verbal abuse that does not bother me it is water off a duck's back but when objects start getting thrown it is a different matter There was only one that hit me but there were a good few lying around me something really needs to be done about it it is fortunate that I was not injured, but there is someone just around the corner about to get a really sore one. Boyd says urgent action should be taken to prevent such incidents. If we just turn a blind eye to it then people are going to keep getting away with it. It might only be one or two people, but they can waste it for everybody. Why should it take someone to get a sore one for them stand up and take action? There is an opportunity right now to do it. It is a sad day for Scottish football once again because the product on the pitch is good, the managers are good, there is a level of competition where everything should be positive, but there are certain idiots in crowds that are causing their clubs various problems, seats were also damaged during Sunday's match at Kilmarnock's Rugby Park Stadium, and Sky Sports News understands Kilmarnock will invoice Celtic, who will pay the bill.